What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. You can hear the little one in the background. I wanted to go ahead and take a minute right now while I had to show you the new energy app that we discussed in 2022.36.2. Sorry for the shakiness, but I want to show you guys exactly how it actually updates live time while you're driving. So you can see since we left, it's consumed 1.7% of our battery, which is 0.7% more than the estimated vehicle consumption. And what you can see on the side here also is what's causing that. So it is a much more thoroughly broken down app. And you can see for us specifically right now, it's stating that aggressive acceleration is consuming more energy, use chill mode to improve efficiency. We know we're not gonna do that. But also you can see here as well, that going uphill cost an extra 10th of a percentage and going downhill saved one percentage. I'm in Florida, there's not too much of a change in elevation, so not too mountainous or hilly. I'm not sure where that little savings came from with the ebbs and flow, but that's what it's saying. You can see also here on the side, it gives us a driving consumption versus rated, and we're going up 0.6% over what it was supposed to be. And then also for climate, we have 0.2%, which is uh, the extra of the 0.7% what it was originally. And again, you can see how it is updating live time. So now it went from, as you can see here, 0.8% to 0.7%, and now this went up to 0.6%. So it is very thorough. And obviously this is for our current drive, as you can see here. But also before we left, you can see when we were in park, we wasted 2.4% that was uh, consumed just by sitting in the car while it was running. And that is all from the vehicle standby. So it is very thorough and very well thought out. As you can see, we've driven 5.6, now 5.7 miles. So every 10th of a mile, it is currently updating. Pretty, pretty neat. You can obviously go on trip and see how that was as well if you want to afterwards. But rated is what I think a lot of people are gonna be looking for. Uh, and you can see we just had a new range tip pop up that says low tire pressure uh, cost 0.1%. So another 10th of percent hurting right there. So we've almost lost 1% additional energy consumed due to these three factors. Um, pretty neat. And again, now you can see stay below 70. It'll save us 0.1%. Uh, I'm really a fan of this. I'm very impressed with what they've done. What do you guys think about the new app? Are you gonna be utilizing it? You think it's beneficial? Obviously the Model S and X have been missing this since they've been released. The three and the Y did have it. Um, there was a voice control that lets you get uh, the old energy app out if you said, show me the energy app. But now we have the actual regularly baked in energy app. So I'm happy it's back. I look forward to using it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, sorry for the shaky video, but wanted to show you guys this. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.